Are you studying engineering or technology? Are you solving technical problems or writing papers? Are you leading teams to design next generation products? You know you need the right tools for the job. Do you really want to use the same tool that you use to find the best pizza in town for developing the next technology breakthrough? If you're doing technical research, you need a true research tool like IEEE Explore, not a search tool. Hi, I'm Jalen Kelly. And I'm George Posker, and we are IEEE Explore Client Services Managers. We travel the world training engineers, information professionals, and other researchers, and are subject matter experts in the IEEE Explore digital library, content, and interface. There's a big difference between search and research. The right approach to researching technologies can lead to a better and faster result, whether it be completing a project or speeding time to market. I use IEEE Explorer three to four times a week to conduct my research in the history of computing and electrical engineering. Explorer is a fantastic resource. While some people might use Google as a search engine for technical papers, the results are spotty. IEEE Explorer is really the only system to use. I couldn't do my research without IEEE Explorer. It's a fantastic, easy to use platform for both researchers and practicing engineers to get the very best technical papers in computing and electrical engineering. Institutions around the world are providing their users with a single search box experience with web scale discovery tools. These tools are helpful if you don't know where to begin your research. But for serious researchers who understand their topic or are domain experts, subject specific databases are more effective. I like the IEEE Explorer Advanced Search when I'm looking for things. So for example, I might be looking up oh, implantable antennas today. And then I do an advanced search and up come a number of articles and transactions. I can also refine my search by mostly I'm just interested in journals and magazines. Here's one on in vivo testing of implantable antennas in rats. That's useful to my current research. If I had wanted to be able to search by metadata, by author, by anything else, I can do that on the advanced search and I particularly like it for that reason. IEEE Explore, a digital library that contains 30% of the world's literature in engineering and computing, is the most comprehensive and up-to-date source for IEEE content. It provides value-added tools to work with the research results and retrieves quality content without the noise. Last semester, I was in a class called Junior Design. It was focused on research, and my topic of research was on dynamic capacitors. I automatically checked out IEEE Explorer, found a very good article. The author actually invented the network of dynamic capacitors, so his research was very valuable to my own projects that I was working on. I ended up using one of IEEE's filters, uh, the author filter, uh, to see if he had done any other articles related to it. And it turns out it was under a much different title, so I wouldn't have been able to find it without that author filter. All in all, I used about three articles uh, from IEEE Explorer, and all those articles are written by engineers for other engineers. If you want to get a complete picture of IEEE published research on a topic, IEEE Explorer is the source to use. Knowing the research comes from a credible source with a proven peer review process like IEEE is invaluable and highlights why for over 125 years IEEE has been a trusted source for researchers in academia, corporations, and government. The next time you're facing a technical research challenge, take IEEE Explore for a test drive. <laughs>